In this comparison, we're going to take a look at two of Optima's newest projectors, especially the UHZ65, which really isn't out until uh, next month, October. But since we've done comparisons to the UHD65, which is the lamp-based version of that projector and how well it's done against uh, traditional UHD projectors and E-shift projectors, uh, and it's held its own in terms of its ability to deliver a very razor-sharp, detailed images. Uh, here we're first looking at color before we do that, but there are some significant differences with the laser. Uh, the laser is able to reproduce, first of all, a brighter image, which we'll measure in just a minute. But if you look at the yellows, the greens, and the reds, uh, depending on your display, you may not be able to see this, but they are... Uh, expanded gamut. Um, they're much closer to P3. I believe uh, the technician that I spoke, spoke to thought it would be close to 80 85 percent of P3, um, which takes advantage when it gets mapped to that 2020, the BT 2020 color space on HDR, which we'll look at at the end of this video. So next let's take a look at the brightness readings between those two. Okay, here we're measuring the uh, white, the brightest part of the image here. We're getting a reading of uh, 40.2 foot candles. Uh, these screens we're looking at here, you can tell they're about 74, 75 inches. Uh, again, we're using the Studio Tech 130 Stewart as a reference. We're now going to move over here to the other side, and we'll measure this. As you can see, the laser is significantly brighter. Uh, we're measuring about uh, 97, 98, 99. Ooh, we even hit 100 there, but uh, about 90. Well, backed up to 100, so significantly brighter on the laser as we'd expect as it's specified. All right, here's a quick look at the uh, color calibration in terms of setting the color intensity or the color level along with the tint. And you can see by looking at this chart, again, the difference between the intensity between the laser, the Z on the left, and the lamp based on the right. Um, if you are going to do a larger screen, say 120, 130 inch or larger, I would definitely recommend going the laser. You will enjoy the extra brightness, particularly when we look at the HDR content. But again, look at the yellows, look at the reds. Depending on your display, you may or may not be able to see that difference in the red, but it is definitely a richer, deeper red. Okay, in this scene, we're now looking at HDR 4K UHD Blu-ray. And um, we're comparing the Z, the UHZ65, to the UHD65, so lamp versus laser. And in this case, the UHD65, as it has been in the other demos, is on the right. The laser is on the left. Um, because Blu-rays put out a 10-bit signal, we're able to see, I love skin tones in 10-bit because you're see, able to see all the nuances with the skin tones in the facial features. And in the case of UHD, you're able to see this wide dynamic range, how bright that, ne or that fluorescent light is. In that scene, you can see the lab instruments lit up in the blue. They've gone to great lengths to give this great dynamic range. Um, and yet we have amazing color. Um, both color is, um, out of both these projectors, is very good, um, but we are seeing, uh, again, deeper reds and more enhanced or uh, deeper yellows on the left. Um, and the blues are very close. They're, they're very similar between the UHDs, but this gives you an idea of the color comparison between the laser versus lamp. There is a big difference in luminance output um, on the left uh, which we looked at in that last uh, clip. We're going to start on this still, again, uh, a clip from Ghostbusters in high dynamic range. And this is a great example of how the extra brightness will give you a much better high dynamic range or HDR experience and with the whiter color as well. Uh, but if you look at the, the uh, police car in the background there, it is much more intense. Skin tones are actually very close on this. Um, but I'm going to play this a little bit so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on on these outdoor scenes. With 10-bit with HDR, it's a whole new experience, not only in detail, uh, but that 10-bit gives you the gradation and the ability to capture that wide dynamic range, which is a, what cameras have been able to capture for years, but now we're finally able to see. So it's, it's very exciting, and particularly with the, uh, the laser capability of being able to give us that extra brightness. So we're going to take a look at contrast ratio and black levels. 
Uh, both have been calibrated. The 4% the pluge is visible with just a hint of the 2%. So we're going to roll this, and again, this star field we've used several times because it's excellent for evaluating the contrast. When I freeze this, you'll notice that the stars on the left uh, are a little bit more intense, and that's because of the higher brightness of the laser projector. It's actually rated at 3,000 lumens, and when it's calibrated like this, it's putting out somewhere around the 2,200 lumen range. We're just estimating, but from what we can tell. And on the right, we are, we are running the UHD 65, this time not in reference, but we're running it in cinema, which gives us a little brighter image. We're running about 1,200 lumens. Um, the blacks look very similar, but again, you see more of the stars. They're, they're the same amount as we'll look at when we look at detail, but you do see that the intensity, because of the brighter image of the uh, lasers, is giving us that impression. And uh, we're going to freeze it here for just a little bit a second, uh, just a second, because if you look at the Earth, you will notice that they both have extremely good detail. Blacks are about the same left. We reverse the image on the right so that you're looking at the same portion of the image. And the next part of this scene, it's going to change into the ceiling of a cathedral. And if you look at those uh, images, you will notice that they're both doing extremely good. Now here, I'm going to freeze this. Okay, we've paused it here, and we wanted to take a close look to see if we could see any difference in the detail between the UHD 65 and the Z65, and we absolutely cannot. What you can see a difference, the contrast ratio on the Z, which is on the left, is much higher, and that's because of the higher brightness. Blacks are very close to about the same, as we'll see in just a minute. So detail's the same, but the higher brightness does give the illusion well, it's not the illusion, it's higher contrast. So it, it does have a, uh, your eye just naturally gravitates over to that side because of the higher brightness. And again, we can turn that down. And so if you don't need the brightness, you're probably better off with the UHD 65. But if you need the brightness or you want that HDR experience, um, then the Z is the better way to go. I'm going to roll this for a minute so you can compare a little bit more here, the detail. You'll see the people are now moving. We're going to have some close-ups of buildings here. That's a different view of the same clock tower. Um, there is some flowers coming up, and you might be able to see some of the differences in the reds. Uh, and then we've got some, uh, some scenes with the ocean, the blues and the greens. You'll notice the blues up above. They're actually very close to the same blue, but the blue on the right, um, the lamp-based version is a little darker just because it's not as bright. These are very good detailed scenes of the cathedral. Uh, the yellow on the wheels, and uh, coming up we've got these scenes of the beach. So we're going to go to that right after this scene here. So here's the scene of the uh, beach city and the umbrellas at the beach. Um, here you'll see the differences in the intensity again of the colors, mainly because of the brighter luminance on the left side. Um, very close color, those, those uh, green blues, the uh, turquoise of the water is coming out very good. And here you'll see the difference in the yellows. The yellows on the right are a little bit more brownish, mustardy. The yellows on the left are a little bit brighter. Um, here's some skin tone, um, which is not quite as good for evaluating uh, detail, but, but you can see the, the detail on both of them is very good, including the little veining in the eye shadows there. These are some architectural buildings which allow you to see both the, the green um, in the uh, trees and the skies, a little bit of differences there. You've got your orange and then you've got your beige in the actual building. In this scene we're going to be looking at, um, we're going to be looking at two types of contrast. One where the image is mostly black with some big bright highlights, which is this one coming up on the lanterns. And I'm going to freeze this for just a minute so we can talk about it. So um, if you look very carefully, um, hopefully you can see the image on the right, the lamp base, does have slightly better black areas, and that's because it's not as bright a projector. When you raise the brightness of the projector, in this case uh, almost double in terms of our calibrated 1200 on the right and about uh, close to 2500 on the left, you are going to raise your black levels as well. Now the good news is, is the laser does allow you to adjust 
the output. So if you're not doing high dynamic range on a large screen and you really want the deeper blacks, you can bring the brightness of the laser down to 50% and of course those blacks will bring up. But on most scenes, now we're going to put this back in motion, as you'll see in the scene coming up, where you've got a more even amount of uh, highlights, not this one per se. This one's very similar to that previous scene, but this one, um, there is a slight difference. Still, the lamp base has a slight edge here in blacks, but very, very little. Um, in most cases, the brightness, in fact, there when it fades to black, it's interesting because it just reverses. Um, so most of them, um, it's going to be very, very close. So in conclusion, what did we find? Well, the, the color on the laser is definitely better. It's a wider color spectrum. They are deeper, richer colors. The brightness is definitely um, almost twice to three times as bright, depending on which mode you put it in. It's dramatically different for high dynamic range. You can do larger screens with it. Um, as far as blacks, the UHD 65 still has a slight advantage there in the very darkest of scenes, but in most other scenes, like you're seeing here, you're really not going to see that difference, but you will see in many cases the higher brightness scenes. This particular scene we're looking at is not in HDR, and uh, so you won't see as much difference here as you would as if it were a UHD scene. Uh, but again, they're both projectors, just depends on your application, and hope you were able to uh, get that. Be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at tvspecialist.com. Thanks for watching.